Why is bubblegum usually pink? Did it win a most likely to succeed award in the color yearbook? Let's chew on this story. Picture it, 1928, Philadelphia. The jazz age is in full swing, and in a small laboratory, an accountant with a side hustle in chemistry is experimenting with new gum recipes. Meet Walter Deemer, the man behind the accidental bubblegum empire at Fleer Chewing Gum Company. While trying to invent a new gum formula based on a chewing gum called Blibber Blubber, Walter ended up with something less sticky, but so stretchy it could outlast any awkward silence. The double bubble. But when it came to jazzing up this new creation, cuz, who would like to put a dirty-looking gray-colored thing in their mouth? Walter found the company's dye selection was as empty as a politician's promises. The only dye left? Pink. Walter grabbed the only dye he had, thinking, well, this batch is just for testing anyway. Little did he know, his pink gum would blow up bigger than a celebrity scandal.